Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the Patreons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. We are going to fly a little bit of the SMT on the dev server, basically the last day of the dev server, it will be closed tomorrow morning, today is the 14th and tomorrow will be the 15th, the patch should be releasing very soon as well. Uh, but before, just like we did with the F-16, I wanted to test the performance of the MiG-29 using the War Thunder real-time information app. So it's basically an app that you can actually download, you can search it up on Google, and it will give you an overlay over the game. And with that, you can grab a lot of information from the game. So for example, AOA, the turning, the thrust weight of the aircraft, the actual thrust of the engines, uh, the fuel, uh, G's, the climb, everything like that. You can basically mix it up and add it as you want. Uh, so yeah, uh, so let's test it out the same type of things that we did with the F-16. Um, we are going to test power of the aircraft, the thrust of the engines, right, uh, compared to the other MiG-29s. Uh, but also the turning capabilities, the climb and everything like that. Okay, so let's just uh, go for it. Apparently, it's not using the newer R33 Gen 3 or whatever it's called engine. It's still using the same old um, original RD33. So should be worse the performance because it is a heavier aircraft, right? So let's just go for it. I mean, let me first of all, let me just lower the out the, the speed over here. And then uh, I, I need to get the optimal air intake and we are going to check this thing over here. Power, thrust 1 and thrust 2. These are the thrusts of the engines in kilogram force. So, um, yeah. Let's see. That's a very effective air brake. So, yeah, let's see the most amount of power. 91 kilonewtons at 900 kilometers per hour. Let's see the maximum power that I can get. Of course, you can always read in 11,000 kilograms of force, or you can read it ignoring the last two as 112 kilonewtons. Uh, you can do that as well. That's 117 kilonewtons each. 120. Yes, now. And it's just increasing. Jesus Christ. Completely different engine from the American ones. The American ones, they are amazing at lower um, speeds and they lose power after a while. I'm still gaining speed. Let me just turn a little bit or thrust. Still gaining. The aircraft will break itself and I'm still gaining power. 122 kN each. 123. Come on, come on, SMT, you can do this. 1,540, Jesus Christ, this is a fast aircraft. 123.5 kilonewtons, it's basically what it is. Yeah, it's not, we are not getting any more power. Let me just, it's around 246 kilonewtons of power together. This is... A uh, incredible amount of power, man. This is an incredible amount of power. Way more powerful, powerful than F-16, but obviously the F-16 is a lot lighter as well. Remember the F-16? Oh, I hate when this happens. Um, the F-16 is like, I don't know, two or three tons less or something like that. My god, game. Like, who? <laughs> like, what kind of... Come on, come on, leave the thing, leave the thing, yes, I managed to do it. So, yeah, 246 kilonewtons of power, man. We're going to check that on the 913 as well later, but first let's test the turning capability of these aircraft. So, let's lower the airspeed for below Mach 1. We are flying as close to the sea as possible, obviously, 1000 kilometers per hour, let's do the turn. It's pulling around 30... It pulled a lot of AOA, Jesus Christ, for that moment there. 
Normal will be 22, for example, here at very low airspeeds uh, of turn, uh, of degrees per second, sorry, not uh, the EOA. Let me grab the speed again. Let's take a look on AOA first. 12 degrees, 14, 15, and 23 It was the max that you can do. That's the thing, that's the problem with this MiG-29. If you use the, uh, no, it's not this one, uh, the controls. If you use this option, you are basically limited at 23 degrees of AOA, uh, which is five degrees more or less lower than the SMT could do. Uh, so uh, yeah, if you use simplified controls, realistic or full real, uh, but then you have to use a stick and not the mouse and keyboard, you know, um, you will basically be able to pull a lot more, like 40 plus, you know, degrees of AOA. You will lose a lot more energy, but since the mouse aim has the instructor that is actually, you know, just limiting everything, um, it should be limiting at the max away of a sa safety limit from the manuals of the MiG-29, which is 26 degrees for the uh, 913 and 912. And um, up like uh, the S onwards, you know, the MiG-29S onwards, it was 29 degrees, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I don't know about the SMT if it has even more than that, but at least 28, it has this capacity, uh, which is something that you cannot do right now. As you see, basically, even if you use the keyboard, the mouse aim is just for the uh, the name of the setting, right? But even with the uh, keyboard, I'm using the keyboard, for example, here. It's It doesn't get past 22 degrees of AOA, which is, I mean, a lot lower than it should be. Like 22, 23. And this happens on the 913 as well. The turning degrees is pretty good. Um, but it will be kind of a, a kind of a, a struggle buzz, I think, compared to the F-16s in the next patch. Just because the F-16s, they got the 9G limiter removed, right? I'm too fast. So you will need to actually keep your aircraft in the best possible scenario to, have, to actually have a chance against a, a 1v1 in an F uh, against an F-16. 33, 30 to 40, it max it out, and then it's maintaining like 20 something. So, yeah, as you see, 22 degrees of AOA, 23 degrees, 22, uh, which is very similar to the F 16, by the way. And the turn capabilities is uh, it gets to like 40, not really though, like 26, maybe something like that. Let me let me increase the speed a little bit more. No, that was a bad turn. Hold up. I'm looking at these, by the way, if you don't know. AOA and the turn by degrees per second. Yeah, at start it, it like goes 30 plus, but then it's like on the lower 20s. It's kind of bugged still. See how it's just m like not really knowing what it's doing. So probably the flight model is uh, like wrong. Let's see with a flap, if it actually helps anything. Let's get the speed. Oh my god, I almost crashed. Yeah, it, it turns a little bit more. Yeah, it does turn a little bit more, but not by much. Uh, so yeah, let's test it out on the 913 um, to see if it actually compares to the SMT. How it compares to, because this aircraft will be... Uh, compared a lot, right? Uh, the SMT is already a little bit heavier than the other ones, so uh, than the, the the 912, for example. So if we see a difference on the 913, think about the 912A as well, right? It will have an even bigger change on it. So yeah, we have the normal, the 80s version of the MiG-29 over here. We're going to climb, do the thrust test again, and then the turning test as well. So here we are with the test on the speed we gotta beat the 246 or 123 i think it was um max power right so let's just try to do that we are already at a very high speed over here and it feels the same basically yeah it is pretty much the same it's producing the same amount of power 122 
So it's we are at 245, 246 now. And yeah, that's it, guys. So basically the same power. Like pretty much the same power as the uh, SMT, right? So we have that. So the 913 and the SMT are producing the same amount of power, okay? Uh, let's just uh, take off our power over here. Um, I'm with too much fuel. Let me restart this because I need to, to be mi minimal fuel to be able to properly uh, test the turns, right? Uh, it's too much weight. So yeah, let me just do that. I forgot to change it. So now we have the correct fuel load. Uh, let me just turn the speed a little bit downwards and then we are going to test it out. First AOA. The AOA pretty much the same. It varies between 23 and 22 degrees for the max that you can actually pull. So clearly showing that uh, it is pulling the same in the AOA. Let me test again. Yeah, it might be like slightly better at first, maybe, but it's it's like a 0 0.3, 0 0.5 max of a change. It's probably not going to be even feelable. Uh, let's try the turn. And remember, the SMT felt a little bit bugged in the turn in the degrees per second, okay? So uh, there is always that to consider. 900, 20, yeah, 30, 30 something, 40, and then 26. It feels a little bit better, guys. It feels a little bit better. It maintains a higher turning capabilities uh, for a little bit longer. It feels like it's maintaining one, two, three degrees even, depending on the speed, um, more than the SMT. Which makes sense. The SMT is heavier. And we kind of proved that it has more fuel. Uh, the same engine, I mean. So, yeah. The 913 is turning a little bit better not by much but it's maintaining closer to the 30 degrees per second a little bit more let me test again even passes to 30 um like to uh, 30 49 it could like it max it out but just like the smt max it out at above 40 as well uh but then it, it goes down to like 26, 27, 25, depending on the speed that you are, right? So, yeah, my verdict is that the SMT has the same power as the 913. Uh, they pull the same EOA, pretty much the same EOA, but because of the light weightness of the um, 913 compared to the SMT, it can turn 2 to 5 degrees more per second um, in a turn, which is quite a lot i gotta be honest the 912 will probably stomp the the smt even uh so kind of scary to think about that the smt will have that kind of trouble dealing with um the amount of turn right because the f-16s are getting buffed severely in this patch without the g limiter right and the mig-29s are pretty much staying the same uh that would be okay even i think in most scenarios um, to the normal MiG-29s, but the SMT is a little bit worse. So it means that the SMT will be kind of a bust compared to the F-16 and the other MiG-29s. At least it has the best radar in the game, probably. Uh, it has a range that it's more than 100 kilometers, and, uh, you know, it, it basically can turn the radar at a 90 degree kind of situation. So that's where I think the SMT will shine, right? The BVR engagements, the missiles engagements, especially when the R-77 is added in the future, even if the F-16s get the M120, that's where the SMT will shine. Not in a dogfight, uh, or maybe even in a dogfight, but using the R-73, right, as its main uh, thing about a dogfight, and uh, together uh, with the very advanced radars that he had, uh, the sensors that he had, together with very advanced missiles as well. That's what I think it will be the thing. I want to test one last thing, the max G of these aircraft. Let me just test this, because I forgot to actually test the max G that it can actually pull. So let's see. 12.7, yeah, 12.7, I think it's the max. So a little bit more than the F-16C, but like a lot less than the F-16A. 13, that was a bad turn, hold up.
I'm, all, I'm almost passing out. Hold up. So yeah, it can hit like 13 Gs, uh, 12.7, 12.6, you know, something like that. So let me just test with the SMT real quick. So let's just test the, the max G over here real quickly. Let me just lower the airspeed a little bit. Let's go to the... As you see, 11.6. It's not pulling a lot to, uh, like the, the 913, man. Let me lower the airspeed a little bit. Eleven point six. I managed eleven point eight, but it's not getting much beyond that. So you can clearly see that the SMT pulls a little bit less. It's just not a lot less, but it is a little bit less. So as I said, the MiG twenty nine SMT will turn less than the MiG twenty nines we have in the game. It is heavier. You can even see in the fuel, man. The minimum fuel that it has is twelve minutes. So um, instead of the eight of the other one, so it's probably just using the uh, fin. Um, you know, uh, fuel tank. Uh, so it's something like that it, it matters, you know. Uh, so yeah, of course, it's very good to have an extra fuel, but it means that you are heavier. And of course, you have a higher silhouette as well, creating a little bit more drag in theory at least, right? Uh, so yeah, but basically this is it. Um, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and I see you guys on the next one. Bye guys, see you.